Hey, what's up, my people? Um, before we get started, this is a process that I figured out because I have an extra sound card that I bought and the sound that runs off your motherboard, which everybody has. This is how I figured it out. I don't think it'll work unless I, you could try it. I mean, what you got to lose if you don't have an extra sound card? I mean, you could try it, it might work. But uh, anyways, let's get started. If you want to go to VB Audio Software, if you want to download it, go to download. That thing's going to appear. You're gonna drag it on your desktop. Make a new folder. Open this. Highlight this. Drag that into the folder. Open the new folder. You want to go to VB Cable Setup 64 and run as administrator. I'm not going to go all that because I already did that. So yeah, and then from there, once that's all installed and done, you want to go to your control panel, your control panel, which is right there, right there. Control panel, you go to hardware and sound. Now you're in, in sound. You want to click right here, the little sound thingy. All right, so this is going to pop up from here. Before we proceed, you just click anywhere, right click. Make sure that you, make sure you show disable devices. Because sometimes there's extra extra uh, drivers hiding in there that you don't know about. That's how I found them. So, anyways, what you so you just installed VB Audio Cable. So you're gonna have this thingy right here. Don't pay attention to these. These uh, you have to pay for through donations with uh, VB Audio Cable. So, anyways, from here you're gonna. Make sure that's at ready. And before we go to the other tab, make sure you have your main, your main default device set as default, which mine right here is Sound Blaster Z. Remember this one, Sound Blaster Z. And make sure this one appears to your real tech high audio definition. You don't have to, I mean, whatever brand of, of uh, sound card you have, it'll appear right here. That's, that's my main one. That's my main head and then I have this is the one that runs off the motherboard so yeah I mean anybody can get a, a a sound card they're like I said they're dirt cheap they're like 15 you can get a real cheapy one 20 bucks 15 10 bucks okay from here we're gonna go to recording and before we go forward right click anywhere make sure you show disabled devices show disconnected or devices and then we're gonna scroll all the way down you're going to have this thing that appears. Don't pay attention to these. You're not going to have these unless you donate. So anyways, right here, you have to right click it. Go to properties. Go to listen. Make sure this is listen to devices checked. Right here, you're going to scroll down. And whatever you had in playback as your default, which mine had, you, you saw was Sound Blaster Z. You're going to click that. You're going to hit apply. You're going to hit OK. And then you're going to go back up and you're going to have your stereo mix. This is the sound off your motherboard. I have this one set as default. So I would, I would advise you to set it as default. So you want to right click it, go to properties, go to listen, make sure this is checked. Listen to this device and then go to the drop down thingy, go down. I'm using the digital output NVIDIA high definition audio. This one works and this one works. These two work. So yeah, so I'm going to click that. I'm going to use the NVIDIA high definition and hit apply. Hit OK. And that's so we're all finished here. I will just leave that open just in case you have to go back to it, which I did about 300 times. So anyways, from here, we're going to go to your, hold on, we're going to go, your, okay, let's go back to your OBS. Okay, you're at your OBS. You, your, mine looks like this right now because I'm starting, I'm doing it from the beginning just to show you guys. You're going to go to the little plus sign, you're going to click that. Right here, you're going to find audio input capture. I'm guessing that captures the sound off your motherboard. So you're going to add 
add source. I'm gonna hit add source again. Boom, that one just appeared. Now before you go forward, you wanna go to a little gearbox. Go to prop, you're gonna click the gearbox, like I said, that little thingy. And you go up to properties. And you get that list and remember the stereo mix that was in the, the recording device, this one. You're gonna look for it, it's, gonna, it's right here. There it is. So that's set right here, you hit done. And then you're gonna go to the, where it says desktop audio. You're gonna click the gearbox, go to properties. And right here, you wanna click whatever you have as default in the playback. Mine is speakers sound blaster Z. So speaker sound blaster Z, speaker sound blaster Z. So you're gonna hit done. All right. Now, as you can see, the game audio is going to my headset. So I can play the game and I could play music off my speakers. I mean, I can still hear the music, but it doesn't bother my gameplay. So from there. Alright, this is the final step, what makes everything work. Alright, so pay attention. Now you see this is where my music is coming from. And this is where my game is going, which I'm about to turn down because that is way too loud. So give me a second. I'll mute this. Turn this way too loud. Okay, so everything's playing on your audio input and your your headset's going here, music here. Okay, so now you want to go to your Windows search. You want to go to sound settings. You're going to scroll down, down, down until you find advanced sound options. And you click that. Now what this is, is this, this opens up every app that's running sound on your computer. As you can see, that's everything. Now, you have to find the app that is um running your music whatever it could be spotify or anything i'm using google chrome now it'll be by default you want to change it down to the speakers real high tech definition audio this one and then for whatever game you're playing doesn't have to be ba ba players unknown battlegrounds be whatever game you go to cable input vb audio virtual cable because it'll be at default but you're going to change it to cable input vb audio virtual cable it'll stay like that if you play a new game and you want to do the same thing and you, you you do this process and it'll stay like that you don't have to do it every time you run the game so yeah and that's it that's yep that's covered everything everything's working so yeah if this video helped you out if it worked for you if it did it did if it didn't it didn't keep trying or you know buy a second uh, sound card like like I did I mean they're real cheap so yeah so you know all I'm, all I'm asking is for you to subscribe to the channel because I can't monetize anything YouTube won't let me so yeah and I have my uh, PayPal down below if this if you feel the need to drop you know a donation a dollar I don't care whatever it's not it's not necessary but it helps so yeah thanks for watching and I'm out.